Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video that you're about to see now. Just make sure that you subscribe and click on the little bell because that's the only way to get notifications. Like, let's say we uh, let's say we apply to a senior arm um, level job, right? And we might actually um embarrass ourselves because if we might not know the material that like you know they're gonna like they're gonna like have us doing or something. How you feel about that? Well, first of all, I mean any any uh, job that you go to, man, any job that you go to, they're gonna have their own ways of doing things, right? Exactly. So no matter what, they're gonna have to teach you no matter what you know, what scratch. they do from scratch right because even if somebody tells you oh we do javascript we do no js once you look at their folder structures or okay. their projects you start looking at it as like everything's completely different than the last company you went to because everybody does it completely different unless you work with a system like uh, a framework like laravel or ruby on rails where you know everything is exactly where it's supposed to be at when you go to every company they do it differently no matter what so if they ask you something that you don't know just be honest and be like hey uh i haven't had the opportunity to actually work on this but i've done a couple of other projects and this this and that that is related to that or you could say um like i just don't know it you know i don't know it but i'm willing to learn i could pretty much learn anything that you throw at me that's it you throw them that that's saying you just gotta say confident. You can't be in there sweating balls like, uh, 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 u
and then you're going to be fine and start applying to jobs soon as you can build any uh, website out of a design. If you can't build a website out of design, out of a design, don't go to no interviews because you're not ready. You're not supposed to be out there. You're going to get embarrassed. If somehow you scheme it and you get hired and then they give you a design and you're like, um, do I take this, this uh, image and slice it up and make it into the background? Like, no, nobody does that. Everybody builds everything from scratch with CSS. So it's like nobody does it how people used to do it back in the days where they would take a design and slice it up and basically take that, that image and put it as the background. No, everything needs to be done with CSS now, you know, because CSS has the tools that you can build it on your own. Any, any, any design that they throw at you. You get what I'm saying? So you have to just be able to do that and then just know one framework. If you want to become a, a back-end developer, as a junior developer and self-taught, well, I'm not I talking about... I say that's difficult. I that's, di that's more difficult. It's difficult. a more difficult road, but you can definitely do it if you have the projects. Right, because a front end developer, like let's say right now, front end developer, you could come in and say, okay, throw me any design, I could build it. With that, you could scheme it. You could go in and get hired. You could scheme it. When you are back end developer, it's not just that. You have to go in there and say, I can upload everything to the server. I know how to use AWS. I know how to go in there and um, uh, set up the databases. I have to connect. Like, there's so many different things to becoming a, a back end developer that for uh, somebody who's self-taught to go in there and try to do it on this, their first job is like suicide. You you basically, if you make it alive, you're like amazing. You get what I'm saying? Like if you somehow make it to become a, a back-end developer on your first job, that means you was amazing. It, it, it's not like you was like some regular dude. To be a front-end developer, anybody could do it. You could go in there and be like, hey, man, you want me to build this for you? That's it. You get what I'm saying? It's a huge difference. Yo, can I show you? Um, can I show you? Um, a website I made from a um from a design I got from Uplands. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you want, you want to do it right now. Look, um, here I posted in chat. This is the design that I did. <laughs> um, I was watching um a whole lot of your videos, so mm -hmm. it kind of helped me. You know. So this is the design, or oh, you build this website? Correct. Okay, so you good. It looks legit. It looks very clean, very nice. Uh, to me personally, I think you're ready. You know, um, it's every... not responsive, but on um, it's semi-responsive. Yeah. Nah, it looks good, man. There's, of course, there's definitely things that you could tweak, but listen, at a job, that's why it, it, you're hired. You get what I'm saying, like. You're hired to take your time and build it the right way and add the extra features. But to me, everything looks clean, looks nice. Uh, typography is good. So it's like, it looks pretty legit. Hmm. You got what I'm saying? So as far as far as that, it's like, it, it's nice, man. So it's like, Appreciate it. you definitely could get hired. Now it's just about you starting to apply to places, man. You know, don't waste time. Don't do what I did, man. Everything that I tell you guys, man, I, I wish I could just, you know, if it was up to me, I'd start slapping people up. Just w wake up. Like, that. You know what I mean? Like, don't do the same mistakes that I did. You know, I came in here and wasted time looking through blogs, YouTube, or freaking uh, every website that's under the sun because I say, I want to be the best. You know, that's that's like the worst thing that you could put on, on top of your shoulder as your first job. Uh, like a self taught developer and say, I want to be the best. The moment you put in that pressure on yourself, you never going to feel like you're ready because there's guys out there that's a million times better than you. There's guys out there that's been doing this since 14 years old. You know, sometimes you might see somebody that goes to uh, even a, a, a job or a boot camp or a, a college student or even a self taught person that you, you say, hey, I'm 24 years old. He's 24 years old. He did, uh, let's say an example, Teen Treehouse. I did Teen Treehouse. He did Co-Academy. I did Co-Academy. And then you say, hey, <laughs> how come I'm now on the same level as him? And then what you don't know is that this person's been coding since the time he's 14 years old. You don't know nobody's history. You don't know nobody's background. Some people, they come in and, and say, oh, I just started yesterday. I'm a web developer. 
But what they don't tell you is like, hey, you've been building Java applications since you was with a thumb in your mouth. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you, who is a brand new developer trying to get into this, uh, freaking Joe the mechanic, and say, like, hey, man, I was going to go be on Uber or become a, a web developer. And you decide to become a, a web developer, right? Now you, you're coming into this field and you're trying to compare yourself to dudes who've been doing this shit since I don't know when. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. don't put that pressure on you of like, I want to be the best. What your, your, your pressure that you should have is to say, I want to be able to build a website, build anything out of a design, be able to be comfortable with JavaScript, know one backend language, and know one framework. That's it. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, codingphase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro.